Hi Mark, this is Henry here responding to your request for a quick video on some tips you can use to get more business online. So I'm on your website for naturalempowerment.com. So I like right away how you have a clear call to action for shop now. You mentioned like healthy outside starts and insights. So you got your slogan and you have that clear call to action. You got some nice images on here as well too. Then it's good you mentioned all the different um, products you sell. So carrot bites, gummies, infused water, pain relievers. It's good you got a featured section too. So you're giving the user the experience that they are at the shop. At like a but it's a virtual store. It's good you got testimonials on here as well, as well as these certifications as well. And some things I um so all in all this is a really good page. You got a clear call to action. One thing I would recommend, I'll get into it more, is adding more content. So I'm going to show you what happens when we search for CBD gummies. First thing we see, Healthline has an article about best CBD gummies. You go down, medical news today, the articles. This section right here is the map portion of Google. So if you have like a storefront, um, you want to be in the top three in your local market. And then we got just CBD store. We're going to take a look at some of them. They're the first business site to appear. Go down, there's more, like then there's recipes. So Google cracked down on like CBD advertising, but whenever somebody advertises for a keyword, it's like they're renting space on page one in the set and they're paying to be on page one, they're renting it. It's all usually it's always better to own than it is to rent, but if they're if a business is not ranking for certain keywords, then that's when they use Google ads. So I'm gonna take show you some Google search stats. So you see page one accounts for 91.5% of Google traffic. As you see, once you leave page one and hit page two, that traffic goes all the way down to 4.8%. Business is not found on page one. It's going to be much harder for them to be found on Google. And a lot of times, like somebody's conducting Google searches for a product or service, but not all spots on page one are created equal. Each spot gets a different share. So you see those top three spots get the most traffic. And there's a huge difference between getting that last spot and that first spot. The first spot gets 30% more traffic. If you, for your local market, if you get a top three organic spot scrolling for top three map listing, you're going to have a lot of website visitors coming away. The more website visitors you'll get, will turn into more orders placed. And then with the extra revenue, you can expand the business even further. Some businesses, by having positions on page one for keywords, they get, um, they add hundreds of thousands to millions of dollars to their monthly revenue stream. So here, we're going to go to Just CBD Store. So this is their page about CBD gummies. So you see they mention a little bit about what their gummies are. And then they have different product pages as well too. So it's good to have a nice looking site. You want it to be simple, but what Google really looks for is content. You want to have a lot of authoritative content on your website, like each product page. You want to make sure that you have a really, really descriptive, really descriptive of each product. So we're going to go here and take a look. See, so gummies for men. So it's good, like right here, you're mentioning like the effects of CBD, how it's for men. You can also mention like the ingredients as well, too, how it can be used. There, there's still so much you can do on the product page. And it's good here, too, how it's like plain written text as well with what the product is in the URL. And another thing, too, you can make a blog, too, giving your thoughts and opinions on everything CBD. So, like, blogs are a good avenue to add more and more information about CBD. It's like you want to be a Wikipedia-type website for CBD, have as much information as possible about what CBD is. And on the homepage, too, you just want to make sure that you give the user the experience that are at a virtual store, which you're already doing really well, too. And while having lots of great content is very essential, one, uh, that's just... It's one piece of the puzzle. Another thing you'll need are backlinks too. Backlinks when you put your website link onto another website. Not all backlinks create equal. Some are more powerful than others. So getting a website to the top of Google is similar to being a kid at a school is trying to rise up in popularity. Yeah, a kid could have great looks, great personality. What's the point if they're not getting those votes of confidence? So let's say, for example, you put your website link onto like the hightimes.com wrote an article about you and some of your products, and they had your website link in there. And they gave you a follow. Google would see them and be like, oh, hightimes.com likes CBD empowerment or natural empowerment. We're going to move them up the rankings. And we'll find more and more of those popular sites to link up to. But if you put your website link onto a new site called like joescbd.com and they gave you a follow, Google would see them and be like, oh, who's Joe CBD? And they like natural empowerment. We're going to keep the ranking the way it is. Their opinion doesn't mean much. 
we're going to a tool now called Ahrefs. This gives you an overview about how the website does in the search engine. So at the moment, you're not appearing on any keyword searches. You don't have backlinks. So then in turn, like the traffic hasn't, the traffic's not valued at anything. So when that traffic does have value, it means that it's producing revenue for that business or a web page. So here we're going to take a look into just CBD store. Here's their CBD gummies page. So you see they got over 25,300 month uh, website visitors a month. They appear for 640 organic keywords. They have 27,400 backlinks. You see their traffic's valued at $5,100. It means that their traffic, they produce some revenue from that traffic. And with backlinks, it's all about who gets the most backlinks. You want to make sure you have a lot of quality backlinks. And you can actually see what your competitors are linking to and try to link up to the same sites. And with backlinks, you want to make sure you're linking up to sites that are relevant as possible to what you do. So that includes like CBD, cannabis, health, supplements, food, nutrition. Let's take a look at some of the keywords they rank for. Like CBD gummies gets searched 173,000 times a month. See the keyword density set 74? And the higher the KD means the more difficult it is to rank for. There's more competition. So right here, this they get over 14,000 traffic from that. And like just CBD gummies, CBD edibles near me, that's a little tougher too. This looks like a blog article title, like how many CBD gummies should I eat? So you get searched 800 times a month. The keyword density is at 8, so it's on the lower end. Sometimes it's like the longer tail keywords that don't have as much volume are the ones that actually convert better. So let's take a look and see some other, let's go like lowest keyword density to highest and see what we can find. Let's see, no, okay, that goes, that's a high to low, let's see the other way. Like just CBD is going to be, it's a difficult keyword to rank for, you see like the keyword difficult, it's 97. Hold on. Let's see, hemp trans CBD gummies. Like, so let's see, body part gummies, I guess that's a product you see like right here, like 400 mg, 400 mg CBD gummies. So like anything like that, like for your products, if you have a, uh, if you got 400 milligram CBD gummies, that's like a good keyword you want to be trying to rank for. Let's see, Lifesaver gummies, let's see. So you like those are like where you that's where you're going to want to rank for it's like all your different product pages and what the exact milligrams that they have of CBD. Take a look at some of their backlinks as well too. So they're on Medium. You could possibly get a link from there. As I mentioned, you want to be linked up to a lot of relevant sites to CBD. You see they got Berkeley.edu, so that's a good one too. Definitely like your Chamber of Commerce would be a good place as well too. And to rank in the map portion of Google, one thing you'll need are citations. Citations, the number of times your business name, phone number, and address are listed across the web. And you want to make sure you have between 50 to 100 plus more citations than your competition. But sometimes having way more citations than your competition won't always leapfrog you in the rankings, but what will help is if you keep adding authoritative content to your website, as well as finding those valuable backlinks. So I hope this was helpful, and I look forward to hearing your feedback. Thank you.